This is the second bag by Rourke that I've looked at, the first a few months ago being the three-day fixer, and this is the Passenger 27. Like the name implies, this is a 27 liter bag. It's more of an everyday carry pack, but if you travel light enough, you can still use it as a travel bag. The dimensions listed on the website are fairly accurate, about 18 by 13 and a half by seven inches or 45, 29, 18 centimeters. However, being a soft sided roll top bag, you could definitely overpack this thing and get it way outside of those dimensions. This is a box I made to test out sizes on personal items packs. It's a common size in the United States at least, 18 by 14 by eight. And you can see the way I have the bag packed now, it's easily gonna work as a personal item on many airlines. However, it still is gonna be a little bit long for some of the more restrictive airlines like Ryanair, for example, that only allows a max height of 40 centimeters or about 15.7 inches. And then a quick capacity test, I'll fill this bag up with packing peanuts, transfer them into my container here that I have marked off in 10 liter increments. It's a little trickier with roll tops because you can kind of fluctuate the volume depending on how much you roll this down, but I try to be fair, pack this thing out full without going too high. Now transfer everything into the container. So this thing's coming just under halfway between these two, so I'd say it's around a 24 liter capacity. That's just in the main part of the bag though. I don't know how they calculated the volume on this pack. If they decided to use the side pockets in their volume capacity, then this is probably close to the 27 they said. This main fabric is a mid-weight nylon here on the sides and the top. And then on the front and the back is this kind of TPU rubberized coated nylon. It's a little bit more durable. They use these smaller number five YKK zips. They're the AquaGuard water resistant on the front and then just regular nylon coil on the back. I was critical of the zipper size on the three day fixer because this is a larger bag and it has this suitcase style main compartment. I think they could have thrown a little bit larger zipper here. However, this is a roll top bag. So the main closure is gonna be up here. So these zippers are just accessory pockets. And I think the number five size is just fine. And just because it has these AquaGuard zippers and then this treated fabric on the front, the seams aren't sealed and the sides and the top don't have any kind of waterproofing. So I'd say this is gonna be a decently water resistant pack, but definitely not waterproof. And looking at the hardware, the adjusters and buckles, these are kind of a mid-grade, decent quality, but definitely not as good as packs that you see that use a more expensive, more durable Duraflex hardware. For being a fairly simple pack, there's quite a bit going on, on the outside of this bag. There's three exterior slash pockets. There's an exterior laptop access pocket. There's non-stowable backpack strap, and then two large stretchy water bottle pockets. This top slash pocket is a little bit smaller, goes down to about here. It's thin and it's got this fuzzy soft lining here. So a good place for storing something like sunglasses. This front pocket is a little larger, takes up the volume on this whole front panel. Side access, there's no further interior organization, but it has this nice orange lining here. So you can look in there and see all your gear easily. There's a tiny little pocket here on the back. It's more of what I'd call like a secret pocket. It's pretty small, goes down to about here, really for hiding stuff. Maybe you don't want someone to know you have. Passport, travel wallet, a little bit of cash. Side water bottle pockets remind me a lot of the ones over here in the Dragonfly. It's these large, stretchy mesh pockets. They're just not quite as big. And these things are gonna be able to easily hold pretty much anything you wanna put in there. Slim water bottle, fits easily. One liter water bottle, not a problem. The carry system on the Passenger 27 is fairly simple yet comfortable. These shoulder straps are extremely wide to compare. This is the Osprey Farpoint 40. It's a much larger pack and these are the same width. Also the REI Ruck Pack, it's a similar size bag yet the straps are quite a bit thinner over here. These things have an adjustable sternum strap. However, there's no hip belt or top load adjusters. However, this is a fairly small pack so I don't really think it needs them. The only downside I see is this back padding. It's fairly thin and there's no rigid frame sheet to keep it in place and there's not really any kind of air ventilation. Moving on to the inside of the Passenger 27, there's actually two ways to get into this bag. The standard roll top opening on the top or this side access laptop zipper. The roll top opening has a couple of magnets sewn into the seams so it makes it really easy to open and close. And then they have some extra fabric here on the sides. It makes it easier to open the bag nice and wide to get in there, but it does make it a little bit more awkward when you're trying to roll this thing. Just to demonstrate, you kind of have to fold these corners of this extra fabric in there before you can roll it up. So 
kind of weird, but really not that big of a deal. The main compartment is just a large, simple, kind of standard main compartment. There is a little laptop sleeve, padded laptop sleeve here in the bottom, and then another smaller non-padded sleeve right in front of it that you probably can't see for putting whatever else you want to put in there. And then to show you the laptop sleeve, it's on the back here. It has, let's say, two access points. You can put it in on the top of the bag here. And then, like I said earlier, you roll this thing shut, then side access zipper, and then you can just pull it out that way. This thing has what I consider to be a, kind of a light level of padding. There's this padding on the back, which is also just the back padding. And then the sleeve division between this and the main compartment is about the same thickness, kind of a thin foam padding. And then the bottom of it comes sh about short, about an inch from the bottom of the bag, so it's not touching the bottom. So this thing's gonna protect your laptop when you're setting the bag down. So this two-way access laptop sleeve is convenient, but it also has some advantages and disadvantages. The biggest advantage, obviously, is just ease of access. But it's also gonna cut down the material and weight by having the sleeve inside the main compartment. You don't need all the extra fabric to create a new compartment back here. For example, looking at the Able Carry Max, this thing is a very thick rear compartment. There's also a big thick padding here between the laptop and the main compartment. So much better protected, but this is also a much heavier bag. And then the ease of access thing is also a disadvantage because if it's easy for you to get into your laptop, it's also easy for someone else to get into it, especially with this exterior side access zipper here. I think they could have helped this out a little bit by making this a locking zipper, maybe two here that can connect together, or a little piece of fabric on the top right above it that you could clip a little lock to. Again, I think this is a trade-off. If you want a bag that's gonna have a really solid laptop carry system, very well protected, you know, something like the Able Carry, something by Evergoods is gonna be a good choice. However, this bag is very small, very thin and lightweight. It's 0.66 pounds, about 1.3 kilograms. So you have a much smaller, lighter, less expensive pack here. You just don't get the added protection of having a really solid laptop compartment. So packing this thing is fairly simple. It's really just a matter of putting your gear in here in a way that you're not gonna lose all the stuff on the bottom. One advantage I think this bag has, nice orange bright fabric. It's gonna make it way easier to see stuff on the bottom of your pack when you compare it to bags with a darker fabric. It's just kind of a black hole, you can't really see anything in there. The roll top works well. One of the advantages of this style of bag is you can pack it a little bit fuller and then it just means you just roll the top down not quite as far. There's kind of two ways on closing this thing. You can roll it up and then you can just clip it to itself, kind of like a regular dry bag. However, it's really intended for attaching these buckles over here on the sides. And one good thing about these is that they kind of act like a compression on the bag, at least in the up-down direction. So if you do overpack it a little bit, you can just cinch these down and kind of help squish the bag down. One note on the carry comfort on this bag, because it doesn't have a rigid frame sheet, if you do overpack it, like I did here, you can see it'll kind of squish out the sides and the back, and this thing can feel a little rounded when it's sitting on your back. But as long as you don't pack the bag too full, you could also put something flat on the back, like your laptop would be an easy choice, or a packing cube, that's gonna really help with the carry comfort. And this is that bag fully packed. I mostly use this as kind of a work bag for hauling gear out in the field. I thought it worked well. Big compartment, holds a ton of gear, and it's easy to carry. These backpack straps sit well on my shoulders. They're really wide, well padded, comfortable. And as long as you don't put too much weight in this thing, then I found you don't really need a hip belt. In summary, the Passenger 27, I think it's a solid everyday carry pack. This thing is made with decent, but not great materials and good construction. It's a very simple bag, which again has advantages and disadvantages. By making it very simple, they kept the weight down. Again, this thing is like 0.66 pounds or about 1.3 kilograms. Got a large bane compartment, it's easy to pack. And I think $99 is a reasonable price for this bag. Some cons on this bag, because it is simple, you're missing out on a lot of the features you get on more expensive, heavier bags, like thick back padding with really good air ventilation. You're missing locking YKK zippers and then a really well-protected laptop compartment. So that's all I have on the Rourke Passenger 27. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. And again, thanks for watching.